Tristan here from AndroTechBlackSpot.com. Right now we are going to go ahead and restore our Galaxy S3 for AT&T to factory firmware, aka unrooting it and set it back to the factory mode, aka how it came out of the box. So we are going to do this for AT&T as I told you before. So to do this you will need a Windows computer and you will need Odin which will be provided in link in description so go ahead and download the files that's in description and uh, we're using the Windows computer and uh, right now you probably see a Mac but I have a boot camp on it and running Windows if you have a Mac and if you don't want to use Windows you can always do this from your Galaxy S3 so go ahead and click the link somewhere around this video about how to restore your Galaxy S3 using your Galaxy S3 yeah Chainfire has made this application called Mobile Odin which lets you restore your S3 from your S3 which is really great we're going to be using your micro USB cable so have that handy too plug it in your computer one end and have another end sitting by second thing we are going to do is go ahead and power off your phone make sure you restore your phone completely because you might erase everything so go ahead and uh, take everything from the phone put it on your desktop like to take whole phone folder your internal SD card and back it up so you won't miss anything if it erases everything we're going to go ahead and simply power off if you have extended power menu, you can always boot into download mode from there but most of the people won't have it so I'm just gonna show you the hardware power of the phone once it is off we are going to press volume down power and center home key first whatever let go the power button keep holding the other two and you will be at the screen and press volume up here and you will be into download mode now click in keep in mind you might want to check right here custom binary count it says no for me if you have like uh, yes and in brackets it will say like two three four something like that how many times you have done it you might want to reset your flash counter which will be linked up somewhere in the video go ahead and click that link and learn how to reset your flash counter for AT&T or any other phone because it's really really needed when you're setting your resetting your phone and giving back for a factory or warranty exchange or something or selling your phone whatever purpose but you want to make sure it says no so let's go ahead and plug in your USB cable now and I'm gonna put the phone aside and let's go ahead and go to your computer it's sideways as you can see sitting and we're going to go to our computer right here and let me go ahead and focus real quick and here you will be provided with Odin and a folder called restore files for Galaxy S3 AT&T i747 so it will be named something like that I haven't made it so first of all you're going to open up the Odin press yes make sure you have the Samsung keys right here installed this KI make sure it's installed and once it's installed if you're correct USB driver yellow box will appear for your phone as it is connected to your Odin so that is really necessary driver to be inst have installed and second thing is you will see this two selected parts auto reboot and F reset time you are going to deselect F reset time so do not select that time and we are going to go to PDA and find the file that you have downloaded well, I have it right here I would like to go out and thank Samsung that's updates.com for providing the stack file and here what we're going to do is just hit start this file will be really big more than like seven eight hundred megabytes as you can see it says please wait so it's probably starting to do its process and while this is going on your phone will be into download mode just sitting down
and right there is the process and as you can see it has flashed boot IMG which is your kernel it's doing the cache IMG extends to 4 so right now it's doing the process where it is resetting your phone and here you can see the process bar and uh, it says it's doing something about modem that's what non hlos bin files is for this will take a uh, little bit time because you are set you are resetting your phone completely factory and the firmware is really big so please be patient while you're doing this it's installing now Samsung 3e recovery now it's installing the system the whole system which is the main part of the phone includes application and all the different stuff make sure you still wait for it do not unplug anything because you might end up breaking your phone or soft breaking your phone and uh, if you do that you will still end up using the same method to reset again so I recommend it what I recommend people is just go ahead and get a beer or do something productive while this thing finishes so as you can see it's quite simple to restore your phone all you have to do is get Odin download the Samsung keys have your phone connected and uh, hit couple of buttons and you will restore your phone to factory going to go and go through the whole video I'm not gonna fast forward anything so you know what is going on because this is really important process I don't want to cut off video and stuff you can pro you can just go ahead and skip from the down there like this the tab just keep it out all this part but I wanna have it for the people who needs to see it necessarily for themselves the phone will be sitting into download mode as well as you can see down there so don't touch it as I always recommend while you're doing process something like this sorry for the camera adjustment As you can see it's more than halfway done. So as I said before, system is really big in the Android firmware because it contains your LIBs for different like different drivers for your cameras and your radio, aka your modem and stuff. It carries your applications has build prop in it which is not that big but still and that's why it's really important 
to give it a time and let it finish its work. About 70 75% done. As you can see, we probably got 20% to go, that's all. Now when the phone reboots you might have a couple of foreclosures and stuff because your phone won't be rooted anymore so the application that requires super user permission or super SU permission will foreclose and stuff so make sure you kind of reboot your phone and then delete those application or uninstall it so it will keep you out from the further trouble as you can see 98% done. Are yes okay and it passed once you get that your phone will reboot now as you can see it's doing all the process and uh, at there it will say pass again and all thread completed success succeed one and fail zero so make sure you read that and now into the phone sorry for the background mess it's kinda There you go. Can make it up with something. As you can see, Android upgrading, optimizing application, 113 total application. So as I said, yes, it will reset the whole thing because you just basically flashed a brand new firmware. This will take a little bit time so give it as much time as it needs and I always recommend that after it's done setting up the system up to the phone it boots up. Make sure you give it time for like 5 minutes or something to settle the system. starting application as you can see right there and there you go it did not erase anything so that's good but if you have back it up it's always good it did not erase anything as you can see all the Samsung applications are back like
sorry about this just wanted to make sure you get perfect vision so as you can see all share and uh, blog not blogger but at and navigator and chat on and all that different application device help and so yp mobile yellow pages and s voice and all those the application that comes with your samsung is back and if you try to run mobile odin super user access is neater that means we have underrated the phone completely as you can see your you must suit for phone to use that to two applications not running Press the home button. Oops. So we have finally gotten rid of the root. Again, failed root access, as you can see right there. So now you have reset your phone to factory. Everything works. Menu. We need the home button volume up that's your regular power menu and yes guys that's how you reset your phone to factory firmware let's go ahead and go setting and find out real quick what we're running about device and right there is your factory firmware that the S3 came with and now you can really trade your phone for warranty or sell it out or do whatever you want the root access is gone and I don't think Samsung can find out that you read your phone remove all and that's how you remove root and do factory reset and it does not erase anything as you can see my applications are still there like my DSLR control for my Canon, Blackboard for my school, and Root Explorer and everything was there, so it does not erase anything. Let's go ahead and see the camera too. All the pictures are there. As you can see, all the pictures are there too. So there, there you go, guys. Uh, this is how you reset and uh, restore your phone to factory firmware from. Windows computer using uh, using Odin and this was demonstrated using the Galaxy S3 for AT&T make sure you go ahead and subscribe like my videos and I will see you in the next video which will be how to factory reset my, means how to clear out all this thing and uh, make it look like how it came out of box so all the application and everything will go away that's the video I'm gonna do next so again subscribe like my video and keep in touch